Hey, welcome to the Charge Garage YouTube channel. We're cruising in the VW Tesla swapped combi and uh, we're going to give you a long overdue update on how things have been going. The good news is that we're driving and cruising. It's very nice. We're driving, look at this, merging onto the highway uphill, already hit 100, passing the cars that are already on the highway. It's driving really nice. Um, been quite a few ups and downs since the last video, so I'll hopefully go through those um, pretty quickly and um, then talk about what's, ne what's next and what's coming up to finish this thing, because uh, unfortunately it's not quite finished yet, but we're making good progress now and uh, yeah, really enjoying driving on the road. So this is the completed underside of the combi with all motor, batteries, air conditioning system all fitted. This is up on the hoist at the Traction EV workshop just as we were getting the final engineering certification by the automotive engineer when he reviewed and checked every uh, modification that was done to the vehicle for it to be safe to be passed for registration to get on the road in Queensland, Australia. That included not only the motor and, and modifications, but seat belts, child seat restraints, and this is the result of the modification plate. So then it was on to the interior fit out. Here I am putting a lot of the sound deadener throughout the body to help with sound insulation and then a thorough layering of uh, thermal insulation to keep it nice and cool. And then the exciting choice, color choices of the interior. And here's the, the final product, uh, a beautiful interior fit out and upholstery job by Performance Upholstery. Uh, a full width rock and roll bed in the rear. Um, and a, yeah, just a really nice, simple, fit out uh really happy with the way it's looking so far in the interior uh before we started road testing had to do a lot of work on the mechanicals so steering and suspension i had a lot of new components underneath uh suspension with coney adjustable shocks all around uh a new torsion bar in the rear up front there's a pair of uh, two inch drop spindles for the front just to level it out. Uh, the rear has the extra weight of the battery pack over the rear axle, so it was dropping a little bit, but it all got leveled out and uh, adjusted by a, a couple of different steering and suspension expert workshops. And happy to say that it's now running and, and driving and steering and, and stopping a whole lot better than what it first did when we, we put it back together. So it was nice to finally get behind the wheel and start driving. That is until not long after I had, well, my first day of test driving and uh, it died on me and uh, we couldn't get it, couldn't figure out what went wrong and had to get it towed back to the Traction EV workshop. It turns out that I had incorrectly set one parameter in the many hundreds of parameters of the aftermarket open sourced motor controller on that was controlling the Tesla motor and in doing that I fatally damaged a small part inside the Tesla inverter which effectively killed the whole unit because Tesla don't sell spare parts to repair them so I had to source another small rear drive unit from another wrecked Tesla and replace the whole unit along with using a, a Tesla accelerator pedal instead of the floor mounted pedal that we had in earlier so finally with the new accelerator pedal and retrimmed and the new motor and the fancy new aftermarket motor controller from ev controls the combi was back on the road just in time to send it down to sydney for the first fully charged live show in australia amongst some other very special and awesome ev conversions yeah, it looked the part. Traction EV did an amazing job getting it ready and sending it down to Sydney just in time to get this awesome headline in the news the next day. Stay tuned. Next video, we'll be testing the combi on the road and putting it through its paces, including a 0 to 100 video.